This boy got a zero in his exams. Feared going home to a co-ed double. So... Destroys the paper straight away. Back at home, his mother asks him how he did in the exam. The boy didn't even dare to raise his head. Blows milk and pretends not to hear. At that moment, the boy's schoolteacher brother comes home. Pulling out his exam paper, he said to his mother with regret. I didn't do so well in this exam. He had only scored two points more than second in his grade. Then, he looked at his brother. The next day in class, the teacher saw the boy staring out of the window, so she asked him to read aloud from the textbook, but the boy said that the letters in the book were dancing. The teacher obviously did not believe him. She asked him to read out the dancing letters on purpose. The result... The boy's name is Ethan. This is not the first time he has been thrown out of class, but he wasn't actually lying. The letters do dance in his eyes. It's called dyslexia. He sees words in mirror image. For example, the letter B would appear to him as AD. The famous scientist Albert Einstein had the same condition when he was a young boy. In fact, Ethan was also a genius with an incredible imagination. In particular, he had a talent for drawing. Bold colors. His ideas were wildly imaginative. Many things that look ordinary to us. He sees things in a different light. Even some of the more complex puzzles he can put together with ease but such a bright child but he can't read or write having fed his test paper to the dog yesterday ethan was afraid of being punished by his teacher again at the age of eight he chose to skip school he spent the day playing alone on the streets when his father heard the news he was furious and slapped him across the face he said that if he didn't study properly again he would send him to a military school but the new exams soon started again all the students were answering the questions in an orderly fashion only ethan's mind was shining Faced with 3 times 9 equals what, he imagined himself as a cosmic warrior, dragging the Earth star number 3, and colliding with Pluto 9. In the end, the planet Earth won, and so the answer is, 3 times 9 equals 3. When he had finished the first question, and the exam time was over, the next day his parents were invited to school for tea. Ethan got a zero every time. All the teachers said there was nothing they could do. The headmaster even said that the child might be mentally handicapped. He was recommended to be transferred to a special school as soon as possible, to avoid delaying his best treatment. The father, however, felt that his son's attitude to school was the problem, because no matter how you look at it, Ethan didn't look like he had an IQ problem. So, despite his son's objections, he sent him to a military school. The headmaster of the school assured his father with his bare hands, even if Ethan was the strongest of wild horses, he would soon be tamed. And so it was. Ethan was left alone at the school by his parents, but not only did the new environment not help him at all. Instead, the absence of his parents, he felt more and more alone. He began to hate everything about it, even his favorite class, art. He was not interested in it at all. He would rather be punished by the teacher again and again. He chose to remain silent, because no one would believe him.